Good Monday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. This is your outlook for October 14th, 2013. And we're going to use the GFS here uh, to give a snap to go over the next couple days. And that's because we don't have very much in the way of model disagreement this week, which we could have used last week when it was all over the place. But uh, we, we do have a pretty good agreement this week, so we'll use this one. Uh, as far as the uh, day today, we're just dealing with partly cloudy skies over our region here. There's a cold front that's uh, going to be moving through here. It's going to be a very moisture starved as it moves east, and that's because this high pressure is going to be running into it. It's still sitting up here uh, in the Gulf of Maine. And then there, here's our, our low pressure system that we were dealing with uh, at the end of last week. And it's still there, uh, very weak, weakened state, of course, but it's still still down uh, off the Carolina coastline here. Uh, because of that, we're still going to have an east wind uh, today, and uh, we'll be uh, losing that over the next couple of days once we have another cold front move through on Wednesday. Move ahead to thir to uh, Tuesday here, and we have mostly sunny skies across the region here. Uh, not an absolutely gorgeous day with temperatures in the low, uh, mainly in the low 70s, but it's going to be slightly above normal for this time of year. And uh, as we get into... Uh, Wednesday here. I think it's going to be one of those days where you have an increase in clouds. I don't think the precipitation is going to be uh, hitting us until the end of the day, especially in our western sections where you can get that in the late in the, after in the afternoon here. But for the rest of the area, I think it holds off until uh, Wednesday evening or the overnight period. And nothing too heavy with this. It's just associated with a cold front here. It's going to knock temperatures down slightly for Thursday, and Thursday is going to be an in-between day. And then we'll have some uh, showers uh, move, move through again with another cold front on uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. Now behind this system here, it clears out nicely for uh, for, for your day on Saturday and uh, should be shaping up nicely for the entire weekend. Now there's going to be uh, a drop in temperatures here. Now this is what we're looking at, the 500 millibar anomalies. This is actually showing where the warm is. These, dark, these uh, oranges colors here, these are uh, warmer than normal temperatures and when you have these blue here, uh, these blues here indicate lower than normal uh, or below normal temperatures and you see that with a little trough starting to dig out here uh, in the beginning of the week here but watch what happens as we go forward in time here as we get towards the middle of the week here and the end of the week you have a nice uh, big trough starting to build in here in the midwest here this is thursday and then as we move uh, towards the end of the week you get one really really digging down here into uh, the northern uh, plains here uh, this will not be heading directly over the northeast with these extremely uh, chilly temperatures here but we will have some influence from this trough we think uh, the current uh Current cycle, the MGO supports that this would have uh, set up over the Midwest, and that's what the GFS is expecting it to do. Uh, but as it moves east, you can see it moderates a little bit here. We still have that trough that's going to be centered over uh, the eastern half of the United States at that point. So we will have at or below normal temperatures as we head into the weekend. And going even longer range than that, and I hate to take the thunder from uh, Mike Defino here because he does a great job with us every day in, in the uh, long-range outlook here. But uh, we, there are some indications that uh, as we get into the 24th through about the 26th or 27th time frame, uh, it's looking like temperatures are going to be well below normal. We're barely getting into the 50s for highs and uh, might even have our first freezing temperatures here in some areas. Now, I just used Allentown here as a point of reference because it's kind of the centermost point of our location here. So this would be from, say, Lehigh Valley and points northwest. So we'll have to watch out for that if that does, in fact, uh, come to fruition the following week. But uh, we'll, we'll deal with it uh, just what we're uh, with a six-day forecast that, we're, that we do right now and just stick with that for now and see how it uh, just follows for the next couple of days and see how it pans out. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for October 14, 2013. Have a great Monday.